you ever think about how right now someone is is watching this video specifically because they got a meal and mm -hmm. they were like I need to watch something with this what's mm -hmm. on YouTube that I can watch that's like easy it's it's like I don't have to get invested in it like a show oh fuck we're the small talk of comedy <laughs> But, but it's like but it's like long so that I know that like I can fit my whole meal into it and they're now and now this. someone's they're watching it yeah they're not even gonna remember this particular part even though they're thinking oh I'm doing that right now yeah it's, it's good it's good it's them. like like two days are gonna pass and and then if they watch it again like in, in a, like a year because like oh I want to revisit this they're gonna be like oh I don't remember this part at all yeah and yeah. I'm also talking about myself like this is something I do like I oh yeah no I've been watching fucking uh, like Try Guys while I uh -huh. eat, specifically okay, the no, videos I just, I, where I, I just I, I now feel much better about myself because I just remembered that I'm not a Try Guy and I'll never be a Try Guy. So I, <laughs> I, I, I don't. It, here's the thing: is that I'm not I'm not like familiar with their whole body of work. I like I I literally just because the algorithm said like, hey, would you like? At one point last year, the algorithm said, hey, Penny. Would you like to watch a video where someone eats every single menu item from a specific fast food restaurant? And I was like, fuck yeah, you know I want to watch that. And now it's uh -huh. like, it's like, okay, but now you want to only watch that. And I'm like, I guess. Here, Okay, here's why that makes me feel better is because I realized, well, you, you know. You realize well, by you saying that it makes you feel better it makes me feel worse. No, 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 no. Here's, <laughs> here's why. Here's why. Even if we're the Taco Bell of comedy. At least we're not the fucking breadsticks oh. of comedy. Oh, gotcha. See, I, th I thought you, I thought you were saying like, you feel better because that's not something you would watch. And I was like, no, what no, the no, no, fuck? no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying that our content, even like I said, even if it's the Taco Bell of comedy, we're not like the pre-meal peanuts in a fucking bucket of comedy. You know, people. People, whenever they feel hungry, they might think, oh, I want Taco Bell right now. They don't think, oh, I want the peanuts that you get at the fucking, like, the, the barbecue steakhouse, you know, before the meal comes out or before you get now, what Now, but what is that, what are you implying the equivalent of that is in terms of, like, entertainment? I, like BuzzFeed. I'm, I'm, I'm like oh, the Try Guys. Or oh. like, like the fucking, like the slow-mo guys or, gotcha. or whatever. Where, where it's just like a formula and they never stray from it. And it's the same thing. And people keep going back to it despite the fact that it'll never change. You know, in this, in, in a similar vein, we, we as Taco Bell will also never change. But at the same <laughs> time, you know, well, I, I at hope least not. <laughs> people, I definitely do my best to evolve things around here. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, fucking, we'll add the Doritos Locos Tacos, or fucking, or we'll add a new type of Chalupa or some shit. We're still gonna. What is evolve. the Doritos Locos Tacos of Snapcube? The Doritos Locos Tacos of Snapcube are the Snap Streams. Oh damn, that's yeah, fuck. Cause now it's new. It's new, and people like it. Yeah, what I want to know is. What would be the, what would, what is real time fandom games? Real time fandom games is the Baja Blast of Snapcube. See, here's here's, I I agree. I understand that that is, like one of the most popular Taco Bell menu items, like iconically. Um, uh -huh. It's very widely loved, very widely appreciated. Um, yes. I've never had it, and mm. I don't know if it's something that I would like frequently return to. It's something if that's so popular that it received, like, you know how, it, it's so popular that it became a standalone item that you can get in a grocery store. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's very popular. I agree. All right. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Mr. Krabs' dream is this way, but first, Squidward. Okay. <laughs> Who was that? That was me agreeing with you. But in like a fun, fun, fun guy voice. Mm -hmm. He was gonna be mean to Squidward, who's like just doing his best, you know. Yeah, I have I have no reason to believe Squidward deserves the shit that gets thrown at him. Literally, if anyone does, they're wrong. Is the thing about it. I've been um. This is fun for me because this is also reminding me that I skipped my piano lessons today. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I've been a uh, I've been doing these virtual piano lessons and like learning how to read sheet music and 
just like the fucking just how to play the piano and i'm i'm enjoying it it's it's fun uh i'm i it's it's weird because it's like it's one of those things where like i have no reason to feel like i should be more progressed than i am because i literally just started like a week ago but also like i feel like i should be more progressed than i am mm -hmm. which is weird i like i i shouldn't feel that way i don't know why i'm like putting that on myself you know what i mean well yeah, well, I mean, th that's because time time goes by, slow, slowly, so slowly. Time goes, time goes, time goes by, and it, then Maddie on plays. Seasons um, change. No, that's, that's not where I was going with that. Many I was, I was, ways. That, isn't it It's rich? not just the rain Aren't or we a snowy days. You gotta stand alone in me in mid -air. Oh, last December was nice. Dream you are bass my with friend. embers and ice. Great. Yeah, let's. Uh, this is that's the the re the requisite. Uh, us just singing over. Yeah, that's 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 about. Yeah, that's about the, as far as that one needs to go. I completely forgot what we were talking about. So it <laughs> I'm gonna wasn't be honest, me too. <laughs> oh, I was talking. I was talking about. Uh, oh yeah, piano progressing piano. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, time goes by so slowly, especially now in in these in this day and age. Uh, so don't worry about it, kid. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. That, uh, I, I did. Parentheticals. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Uh, that that looks like it's made of toothpicks. Little, it does. Little... I always thought that. I I specifically always thought that. I was like, why is there toothpicks things here? Is that what Baby Penny sounded like when she first played the game? <laughs> why you toothpicks here? <laughs> Not too far off. <laughs> ah, ah, Penny, you gotta stop falling off. I gotta. You're right. I really need to re-examine why I'm doing that. It's okay. This is a gamer tip for me. Oh, I think I just have this me. internalized hatred for SpongeBob's adventure. Damn, that's unfortunate because we're still playing the video game. I know. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Why is it, wait? How come he's not like maintaining his his vertical <laughs> level in the air when he, when you're doing his swingy? I don't know. <laughs> ah. Oh, there you go. Oh, I would buy Squidward's art. There was, um, have you seen that video? Uh, it was going around on Twitter where it was like, it was like, it was, um, made up to be like this sort of like fake, uh, emotional TikTok, you know, those that go around every once in a while where it's like, I, like, I did this really nice thing for my friend. And then like, it goes with like sad music throughout like oh. a clip of them doing a nice thing for their friend. And like, it ends with like them crying and hugging everybody. Oh Yeah. Yeah, and it, it was the fucking, I gave was, him what he, like, a painting of what he loves the yeah, most. Yeah, and it turns around, it was bold and brash. Wow. That was a quarter note. <laughs> Thanks. Or a, f a full note, I mean, whoops, oops, I haven't Whoopsie. done piano lessons since I was 13. Yeah, I took piano lessons for, th for fucking seven years of my life. Did you? Yeah, it did, never got past Music Theory 1, because I was not invested in it. Aw. Huh. I was, I was doing it purely because my parents wanted me to do, but... I learned how to play Dire Dire Docks on the piano, and that was... also a clock, and also clock. Hell yeah, I can play uh, a little bit of Song of Storms on the piano, but like very chittily. Just it's just like a very basic primary notes, and that's about it. Um, but I was gonna say I had a similar situation with uh, the drums, because mm -hmm. I I literally I um when I was a kid I had like a for a brief period I had like a whole ass drum set in my room that I was supposed to be learning, uh, because like my dad played the drums. And I, I like thought I wanted to play the drums for a little bit, so I was like, "Yeah, I'll get a drum set in my room." And then it just, mm. it was just taking up space for like six months. Um, nice. I, that's, I literally that's practiced for like a single night, and then that was, that was all I ever did. I never practiced or learned anything new past the first night. That's how my parents were. What they did was they got, you know how like in in arcades, there's like a little tiny like basketball thing where it's like you shoot the basket and it's like three feet away from you and mm -hmm. like you have to we got that except for it was like made of like fucking plastic or whatever the fuck and we had one of those and it was just like behind our couch 60 look at 69 i was gonna yeah um, i was gonna i was waiting for you to look at wait hang on uh, turn back around look at squidward's eyes fuck hey you have to get back on his nose you can't see it it's so important is my my face my f hang on red this is so important Listen now to me, Red. Listen now Jesus. closely. Heed, heed my words. Please put at the top of... Please, and I ask you kindly because I respect you. 
at the top of the screen, put an impact font with black outline, MFW. And then at the bottom of the screen, please put an impact font with black outline. I see 69 in, in spatula count. <laughs> All right, thank you. You can go now. Me or Red? <laughs> Either of you. Okay. See ya. Bye, Penny. No, wait. Fatal flaw. We forgot I'm playing the video game. I was about to do the drywall podcast episode too. Oh, okay. But, uh, nice. You can be my special guest if you like. Cool. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Welcome to the drywall podcast episode two. Uh, uh, where today we'll be looking at some of the different sheet rocks, uh, and, and, um, uh, buster custard boards that can be used in to really spice up your uh, drywall variety. We're joined today with, uh, uh, amazing guest Penny Parker, uh, who is actually an expert on mid 20th century drywall construction history. Hey, it's uh, really Penny, good to be hey. here. Yeah, it's great to have you. I'm really, really excited to have you. So I actually, now, um, I wanna, I wanna go ahead and just get up front here. I wanna, I wanna confess something to, to, to those listening, but also mainly to you, Chase. Certainly. Um, yeah. What's going on? I lied about my qualifications, uh, vis-a-vis -vis drywall, uh, because I really wanted, um, to get a spot on this podcast. I'm actually a big fan, um, and uh, I, I, I just felt like this would be a good opportunity. Uh, for me to are you okay your nose is turning red like like actually like like actually like a like a bright neon red I, color if you are not going to contribute to the discussion i would appreciate if you could i sit i down i, I can contribute talking. i just maybe won't be like the most single-handedly knowledgeable a substantial amount of defective drywall was imported to the united states from china and incorporated into tens of thousands of homes during 2000 six and 2007 and that absolute misconduct and mistreating of drywall does not measure up to what you've done to me today and i would appreciate it if you would apologize not only to me but to the viewers for wasting my time and their time hey i'm uh i'm real sorry about that i'm still i'm still good to, to hang out though right Yeah, okay. Cool. You want to talk about what's your, walls or whatever? What's your, what's your walls? Oh, my gosh. What's your favorite part about drywall? I love... It? No, I wasn't, no, wasn't going to say it. <laughs> yeah? I say I love how good of a podcast subject it is adapted to frequently specifically that's, on the drywall podcast that's great but here's the thing is that the meta commentary isn't really what people come to the drywall podcast for right. come for facts and, and history well, of I'm, well I'm, I'm well i'm just thinking and like obviously this is something we can workshop and like sort of like bounce around what i'm thinking is that this might be um a good like alternative kind of format episode for more like the fans fan you know like because i'm like a fan of the show and i came on i think uh as the fact that it's episode two i think it's probably a little early in the lifespan of the podcast to be doing is it early or is this the perfect time to make sure that you're not losing no. viewers due to monotony it's absolutely what do you mean monotony I'm I'm not saying your show is monotonous. I'm just saying there's a risk of it. What could be like monotonous with... about the fact that the state of which gypsum, the primary ingredient of drywall, going through water crystallization at a range of uh, eighty to one hundred seventy degrees what's, Celsius? What's that you got on your iPod iPad there? What's what's that? It's it's, oh, that's pornography of Lola Bunny. That's completely unrelated. But but in the other tab, that you that you switched from to go. <laughs> Something you would actually have rather me see oh, porn of Lola my, Bully, Bunny rather than you switched mistake, away that's, from. That's pornography of Mrs. Incredible. Okay, but yeah, but I'm talking about like that, the tab you switched from. I don't care about any of the multitude of other tabs, which actually are all on a sort of Rule 34 art site that I don't want to really even see more of. So if you could, if you would stop manually switching. Oh, no, yeah, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that's 
Timmy Turner's mom. Oh, you're, cool. ta- you're talking about you're talking about this 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 first right page. Here. Yeah, it's actually I can see the title. It says Drywall Facts. You want to maybe? No, you're misreading it. It says Low End Theory by a Tribe Called Quest. Okay. All right. Well, Thanks I don't. Thanks for joining us on this set episode two. Are we done? Dr- the dr- we're done because I don't want to deal with your blatant disrespect of me any longer. Can I say one more thing that I like about about drywall? Absolutely, be just, my guest. Just one more. I promise okay. it'll only take a few seconds if you'll just let if you'll just let me do it. Yeah, please. I've given you permission. Please go for it. Okay. So did you know? Um, my second favorite thing about drywall is that. Uh, the name drywall refers to the fact that walls made of the material are installed without the use of water, and a major problem with plaster had been the extremely long drying time associated with it as it was installed wet, and installers had to wait for the previous layer to dry before installing the next one. That's really interesting. That's one of my favorite things about drywall, too. Oh, hey, what's this? You want to kiss? The U.S. Gypsum Company invented drywall in 1916. <laughs> it's I feel like you're deflecting. After the no, this is the same. <laughs> it's the same. It seems to be the same. Twelve percent of drywall is wasting during wasted during the manufacturing and installation <laughs> process, and the drywall material is frequently not reused. <laughs> Some landfill sites have banned the dumping of drywall. Thanks for tuning in to episode two of the Drywall Podcast. <laughs> oh man, let's keep playing the game. Let's, yeah. Well, hey, we it was we served our purpose as drywall mm-hmm. hosts. Oh let's my go god, heaven. let's go. Welcome to heaven, everyone. Oh god, why are there so many SpongeBob characters? Oh god, it's purgatory. Why wouldn't there be any SpongeBob characters? Is actually the exactly. real question. Exactly. If it's heaven, that's the that's the whole shit. <laughs> if it's heaven, that's the whole shit. Is something that people say ah. often. Yeah, mm-hmm. that wasn't super proud of that maneuver I just did there. They go left to right, silly Gooboo. No, Penny. No. <gasps> I got scared. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go to the left. No, Penny. No. <laughs> Penny, you have to be patient with this. This is hardcore platforming. What do you? Who said? Me just now? <laughs> You're not listening? <laughs> I think it's I think it's chill. Penny, it's not. You it. keep falling off. We can do it. It's fine. You just gotta okay. have a little bit more faith. All right, I have more faith in you, Penny. You got this. I know you've got this. Once again, my faith has been misplaced. I I, I didn't say faith for one attempt. All right, I'll have faith for three more attempts. Here we go. Three more attempts, like starting now. Yeah, so this is attempt number one. It looks like you, my faith, you know what? Play, play, placed it in the right gap. What I tell you? What I fucking tell you? First try. First try, everybody. First can try. We some, can we get some applause? Fuck this guy. No, wait. Oh, actually, God. You don't You don't have to put the applause in uh, red. Don't worry. I'll do the applause for us. There you go. Why does it? It's an explosion. Why does it not? Doesn't do anything? give a sh- Well, I mean, to be fair, it is a bubble. Yeah, but if it's a bubble in the first place, why does it hurt in the first place? There we go. There we go. It, their head was just impenetrable. Why was there a guy back there? What is? What actually is, is this? Is this? This because this isn't SpongeBob's dream. This is like the purgatory between dreams, isn't it? I no. I think this is. I think this is SpongeBob's dream. Because because so, there's there's never a moment where you enter an alternative SpongeBob dream. So this is SpongeBob's wait, so, dream, and so SpongeBob's these, dream is containing the dreams of all the other friends. Are the other dreams? So okay, here's the question: Are the is, does that imply that the other dreams are SpongeBob's idea of what his friends would be dreaming about, or I, is it is it instead yeah, implying I don't, that SpongeBob is the the de facto like main character of the wait, universe wait. and? As a result, this is just what they are because all I don't all, uh, think that contained I was, yeah I was oh, I was gonna say I don't think this is a like normal case scenario. I think this is very much um, the exception in terms of like SpongeBob's dream format. I think that this is just a sort of supernatural. Are you ready, kids? I am ready, kids.